Hi guys, uh, Molos here. So today I am going to compare uh, internet speeds between MTN and Starlink. So I just so happen to have uh, Starlink and MTN. So MTN is for practical purposes because you know you can't be carrying the Starlink around with you and all. And then it's also my backup internet. And uh, with this load shedding as well, I only have uh, in the evenings um about six hours of backup power so in case uh the backup power runs out after six hours i still have internet because uh the backup the mtn uh, routers do have uh, one has an inbuilt battery one has an external battery that i got so uh, and then also when i'm on the move i do carry around the mtn router with me so uh, I thought I should mention that. Um, oh, then this video is not sponsored. I just happened to use MTN internet and I happened to use the Starlink. Uh, then uh, one other thing, I'll just show you something. Yeah, so there's my, this is the first Starlink uh, dish that I got. So the Starlink dish and router got burnt, the original ones. Uh, they got burnt, I think it was... Uh, uh, it was on account of uh, some faulty installation. It was a DIY or do-it-yourself installation. We put it on the roof and then we put something heavy to stand on uh, the cable. And I think there used to be some movement when the wind was uh, blowing and stuff. So the cable sort of got short-circuited and it burnt both the router and the dish. So I had to get a replacement. So the original a router and dish I got from uh, there was a colleague of mine who was selling at the time I got from him when Starlink just came into Zambia and then the replacement I got from uh, uh, Central Global Uplink I'll leave a link in the description uh, it's not sponsored I'm just giving contact I mean saying where I got these things from uh, so it, the original one was under residential plan and then the current one is under the commercial plan so I do the subscription through Central Global Uplink. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, oh, then the other thing, like I said, the video is not sponsored. Uh, I have two MTN routers. The first MTN router uh, was uh, given to me by MTN. So it's not sponsored by MTN. I was just given by MTN to be testing out the internet. So um, no strings attached. I just told you can use this to test out and stuff. And the second router is one that I bought from MTN uh, Kablonga. And uh, I'll explain why I got it and uh, all. So let's oh, one last thing. Yeah, so there, that is the Starlink uh, dish that I got from Central Global Uplink. It was a replacement for the mine which got burnt and fried. And then the other one you're seeing there, that is uh, Wiz Outdoor Antenna. I got it from Wiz, the time Wiz was uh, offering unlimited internet uh, and they had that outdoor unit. I think Wiz is now is normal. Uh, and the other thing with internet, uh, whether it's Starlink or any other thing, it's all dependent on location, obstructions, uh, the shape and design of your house. Uh, roof, you know, there's so many variables that go into internet. So your results may differ from mine. Uh, mine, if you look across there. So uh, the Starlink is facing in a south southerly direction and there are a lot of trees uh, technically obstructing but not obstructing. So there are a lot of trees around, uh, a lot of big tall trees around. So you don't necessarily need to chop down trees to get a, be a better signal and all, but, uh, but trees and the likes can obstruct your internet uh, uh, speed, I mean can obstruct and affect your internet speeds and all. I don't recommend chopping down trees to get internet, I recommend you, you find a workaround that uh, helps. Uh, anyways, let's go inside now. Okay, so this is my... I guess I can call it my router station. So all the routers that I use are here, including uh, a MiFi. I don't know if you remember those, uh, uh, what you call that, uh, Vodafone MiFi's. Then there's also a landline there. Yes, guys, I'm old school. I do have a landline. I mean, sometimes you don't want to be, sometimes you prefer clients call on a landline. So let's go through the routers. 
So at the back there, there is the Zamtel router, which is there primarily to be connected to the landline because you know now nowadays the landlines are connected to a router. It's set up by Zamtel connected. I need to get that router replaced because uh, the back cover came off. So now it's you really have to glue the battery on to get it to work properly. Then uh, we've got uh, we've got the Starlink router there. That's a version two uh, uh, router. So the problem with that one, it doesn't have uh, uh, Ethernet ports and connectivity on that one. You can't really manage who is using your internet because uh, any, once anyone has a password, they can use and you can't block access in case you want the kids not to be accessing internet at certain times and stuff like that. So because of that, I got this uh, Dream Router, which from Central Global Uplink again. And uh, this Dream Router, this one does have uh, Ethernet ports and all. And then you can also control and manage uh, who is accessing your internet with this. So you can actually set it up that uh, that router is bypassed. No one can connect to it. They have to connect through the Dream Router, which gives you control of who is accessing your internet. Then next up, we've got this ZTE 5G router that I got from MTN. It's a test unit. They gave it to me to be testing out the internet. So I actually do want to be moving around Lusaka, even Zambia, just testing out internet 4G and 5G speeds with this unit. So I should be traveling quite a bit towards the end of the year. Uh, should be in Eastern Province, Copper Belt, uh, Central, and uh, maybe a few other provinces. That's for my normal work and all and uh i mean I'll, you, you can kill two birds with one stone you can test out internet while also doing my normal work which is um all so this unit is powered by electricity now what i did is i got uh i started seeing that mtn was selling uh routers with this backup battery uh and you know i thought why not so i did manage to get one of these from mtn um all right, so I, I did manage to get one of these. So right now it's uh, it's uh, connected to charger. So it's charging and discharging at the same time. Uh, so this one is powered. It's it, it's pa it's powered by electricity, but with uh, when you get the external battery, you can then use it uh, and all. And this battery basically lasts forever. So this one, if you ever see any MTN uh, or any of the networks selling their routers with this type of battery, I do recommend because this battery lasts and lasts and lasts. Then this other one, I got this unit from MTN Kablonga. I purchased it and uh, it was the first one I got which has an inbuilt battery. Uh, so this unit is powered by USB-C. So you can charge it on USB-C and then when power cuts, you do have uh, a couple of hours of internet access. Um, enough hours, I think, enough hours for internet. Uh, but what I've seen when I got this backup battery is that this one lasts longer than that unit. So in case you are uh, at an example MTN and you see one of these routers, I got it because it's got four antenna and that was the assumption is that this would give me better signal strength than one with inbuilt antennas. And so far, it's a very, very good unit. Uh, it's just an observation that this battery lasts longer than that inbuilt battery. So I'm going to do, maybe later on I'll do a comparison uh, to see how long uh, they last, maybe by weekend or so I'll see how long each lasts uh, side by side and all. So in today's video, I'm going to do a speed test comparison. Starlink using the Starlink router, Starlink using the Unify uh, uh, Dream router, MTN using the test kit or unit that I have from them, and MTN using the commercial paid one using this. So this one I'm going to use the 10 GB daily bundle to test out. Uh, the Zamtel one, I can't test it out because the router, as you can see, the light's flashing. I need to get a replacement on that, so I won't be able to test out that. So I'm going to do four different uh, test speeds, two Starlink with the built with the Starlink router, Dream Unify Dream router, then we're also going to test out MTN with this and MTN with that. So it's going to be four different speed tests. So let's get to the computer. Okay, so we're going to do the, the speed test now. All of them will be 
ping, we'll be pinging against uh, Econet Wireless Zimbabwe. And we'll start first with the Starlink router. I'll connect to the Starlink router. Okay, it's connected. So next I'm going to do this, I'll run the speed test. So here on the ping, we've got 47 and uh, the download speed is coming in at, let's just see, it should be in the 20 megabits range somewhere there. And it's coming in at 26.8 megabits per second. And then the upload speed is coming in at, this is going to be just a few seconds. At 14.82. All right, so we're done with the Starlink. Next, we're going to use the Starlink connected to the Dream Router. And this is this one. All right, so it's connected, still pinging against Econet. We're going to check. And here we are having slightly slower on the ping and uh, on the download speed it is a little bit slower but you know that is speed versus functionality so i'll go with functionality any day so 13.97 megabits per second and the upload speed seems a little bit faster or it should be the same okay the, the, the upload speed is almost similar range so that is a 14.73 megabits per second similar range next we're going to do the mtn test or review unit that i have and we're going to check it let it connect okay it's connected all right still pinging against econet we'll check it and here all right so the speed is relatively faster maybe two or three times faster so we're just going to check 62.42 megabits per second and the upload speed is also seeming to be faster and we are getting as you see here 21.75 megabits per second so now i'm going to do the final test which is the normal mtn router the one with the four antennae and it's connected so this one i'm using the 10 gigabytes for 10 quacha bundle and uh, let's see so in terms of this one has got the slowest ping all right and uh, let's see now here in terms of uh, speed so i'm not sure whether it's capped or not i, I mean this whether the speed is capped or not but it does have that up download speed and then the upload speed is coming in at so this is just a random test maybe i should try this again during the week or something like that all right so here we go so so the tests are all done so these are the speeds that i'm getting and anyway, so, so the, these are the speeds that i've gotten and uh, all of them are functional usable and all and then uh, these two are portable. This one, especially since I've gotten that battery, the, the, the external battery. And then this one comes with an inbuilt battery. So like I said, this one has got a longer battery. So in case you are purchasing a router from any of the mobile network providers, the internet providers, maybe an external battery should be better than a router with an internal battery. That's one of my observations. And then the second thing is, I think the other networks should also have decent speeds. I haven't tested them with the, I haven't tested them really because I really haven't had a need to. Maybe next time I'll add Airtel here using Airtel and Zamtel. If I replace the Zamtel router, I'll try to add a Zamtel router here as well. And then Airtel I'll test using either the MiFi or the phone. But for now, these are the speeds that I've gotten. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts, views, opinions, and recommend some places where I should go to test out these two routers to see the MTN speeds across Lusaka and then also Eastern Province. Let me know where you'd 
want me to test out Central Province as well and the Copper Belt. Those trips should be happening either the end of this quarter or beginning to mid-quarter four of this year. Thanks for watching, guys. Mulos, bye.